Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here, and today I'm having fun. I'm with all the preschoolers. Hey everybody, wave to the camera! Wave! All right, they're pretty excited. They're playing. It's hard to beat that. But what we're going to do today is they were making this really cool project, and I said, you know what? I got to teach everybody out there how to do this. They made terrariums. That's a big word. Basically, what that is, that's a little ecosystem inside that bottle. Another big word. Basically, they built the earth inside this bottle. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing you're going to do, ask mom and dad for a jar. It could be a jar like this. These are called mason jars. Ask mom and dad. They'll know what that means. So get yourself a jar. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get yourself some pebbles. And you can go to the aquarium store and you can buy them for your aquarium or you can go outside and dig your own pebbles up. So what you do is you're going to take some of those pebbles, a nice little bowl full, and you're going to dump them inside of that jar. You're going to make a little layer just like that. Real simple. Then, at the same aquarium store, ask mom and dad to buy some charcoal. Now, this is really cool stuff. It's really black, it's really dirty, and you get it on your hands, it makes you all black. It's awesome. So, put that in, get some of that stuff, and you're going to put a layer of this charcoal in there as well. And basically, what this charcoal does is it cleans the water. How awesome is that? So, that charcoal goes in there. It kind of is like a little wetland. It helps to clean the, and filter the water through. Pretty neat. Then, next thing you do, after you get that charcoal in, I'm going to reach over here and grab this stuff. You can get this at any craft store. This is called moss. I think it's called sphagnum moss or something like that. Really weird name. But it comes in this big bag. It's dried like that. So you're going to take some of that and you're going to put that in next. And so what basically what that is, it's kind of like a sponge. It helps to soak up all that water. And then last but not least, everybody knows what this is. This is soil. You can either go out and find your own soil. Or you can find potting soil like this. This is really fancy stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some of that and you're going to pour that into the jar. And you're going to layer all this up, kind of like you layer a cake and you bake a cake. Then, this is where the fun part gets in. You get yourself some plant seeds, something like this. It could be anything you want. This happens to be grass. You can even grow cactus, things like that. And so what you do is you get some seeds. You put some water in here to water it all down. You take those seeds. You dump these seeds in. You push them down. You plant them just like you would plant a plant. And then guess what? You put the lid on here and you'll wait for everything to take off. And what happens is this little ecosystem is going to be just like our planet. It's going to, the water's going to trickle down. It's going to evaporate up. It's going to get up on the sides here. It's called condensation. And it's going to rain inside of your jar just like a rainstorm. And that rain is then going to water the plant. The plant's going to give oxygen, oxygen, just an amazing thing. You're going to have your own little ecosystem right here in the jar. Now that is a fun thing to do on a rainy day. So until next time, guys, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with all my preschool friends here making a terrarium for you. Until next time, guys, we'll see you real soon.